Just drive by. We <laughs> There we go. We're live. Awesome. So people can get rolling in here. But anyway, how are you doing? How are you holding up? Um, great, but only because I am being forced to be locked in my apartment and do nothing but write music. So like all the excuses I had of, oh, I'll work on this song this weekend or, oh, I'll finish this cover tomorrow. It's like, there are no excuses. I'm home. So I have to do it. <laughs> Quarantine's like, guess what? You got nothing else to do. Well, I kind of do it. It's like I was having a conversation with another band the other day, and I said, you know, it sucks that we're having this pandemic. Like, it's absolutely horrible, and I got it, so I know exactly how people feel because it was not fun. But no, at the wait, same you time, actually caught, caught the virus. Yeah, I did. Um, Back when nobody knew what it was. Well, yeah. it was right when the, in the beginning, and um, uh, I had gotten. So much fucking shit done around the house and like <laughs> the radio station that it's not even funny. Like I feel super accomplished. Yeah. I mean, it's good for something. Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but it is good. For, it is good for something. I mean, and the good news is, like, you know, we mm. have been sort of like slacking on getting the full length done up until. I mean, we we had a plan that we were definitely going to do it because um, we were playing Blue Ridge, and so we wanted to like have an album out to like support that and switch up the set list. Cause honestly we were getting, getting sick and tired of playing the same seven songs. <laughs> so, uh, but this was kind of like the kick in the ass we needed to be like, Hey, like get it done. So, I mean, we're like a little over halfway done now, which is great. Um, it's just weird, I guess. So are you guys working on a new album currently? Yes. Yes. It doesn't have a name yet because <laughs> I am like hella indecisive with names. Um, it'll probably have like eight more names before we get finished. But but yeah, it's going to be the first full length. Because basically we had this thing where we were like, okay, we're just going to drop singles. Because it was just faster, right? Like instead of people having, because I just felt like, you know, when you're a smaller band and people don't really know your name, that if you put out a EP or something and then you wait like a year to be able to put out an album that people kind of forget who you are and like the hype kind of dies down whereas like you know if we're waiting on I don't know Trivium to drop a new album like nobody's gonna forget who Trivium is in that interim time period they're just gonna listen to all their own shit over and over again but for a smaller band like us like we were just like okay we should do that but then it, and now it's to the point where it's like I constantly get messages of people being like oh I wish you guys had more music and I'm like ah oh, that's probably a good idea we should do that <laughs> <laughs> You're like, guess what? I have nothing better to do yeah, than that's, that's make me. probably a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a band well, actually sit down right now? <laughs> so, how did this of y'all's touring for this year? If, oh, okay. So we had like some of the biggest shows <laughs> we had ever played. You know, as like is the natural progression, right? We started playing like little teeny venues, and then. We're planning to tour with this really amazing band that I don't know if I should mention them yet because we probably may still tour with them depending in September for Blue Ridge, um, if anything ever opens. But yeah, so we had all these plans and we were going to drop our first full length and all of our shows got canceled. We were supposed to play this festival um, called 423 and we ended up not, I mean, it's postponed till July, but I don't know if they're still going to be able to have it because we were supposed to host it. Huh? We were supposed to host. That. We were supposed to host four two three. So we would have met you again. We would have seen you guys again. <laughs> yeah, oh, and hold what's on, up, Nathan. Yeah. Just and there we go. <laughs> what up, Nathan? We can't hey, see you here in the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this much in his face. <laughs> I'll find a better place. Hey guys. Hello. What's up? <laughs> That I thought you were trying to be dark in this year. Blood, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with now, probably even more than me. <laughs> the sun's chasing you, fam, bam. <laughs> all right, is this better? Much better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have eyes now, so that there's there's that. <laughs> we can see you, homie. <laughs> There you go. Yay. There you go. 
So while you've been in quarantine, other than writing music, I, everybody's like developed a new hobby. What the yeah. what? <laughs> Do you got any new hobbies you developed that being locked down for so long? Oh, me? New hobbies, huh? Even yeah, video, I played some video games on my phone. <laughs> so I've been addicted to that. <laughs> Marvel Strike Force. So yeah, yeah, that's my nerd hobby. Yeah. I played the shit out of that game. I already had like five. I already had like five billion hobbies, so it's hard for me to have any new ones because, like, I like to sew things. I like to paint stuff, and of course, everyone knows by this point. I'm sure everyone's sick of hearing about my freaking car. All I do is that as well. So, like, all of this quarantine. I mean, I've had to. I no, not had to. I've been very grateful to have a job that I can work from home during the quarantine. So, like, that's been the daytime, and then writing music, and then the other random crap like working on my car or working on clothes or getting tattooed well i haven't gotten tattooed actually but i would like to yeah i missed that I miss what about that you guys you said, like, you, guys, you said that you have been doing a lot of stuff what have you done in quarantine what have you guys been up to flip the script now we're gonna have <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we actually we uh, have a film that we're about to start record or uh, doing in what late July or late August, July or hopefully. August. We're going to be at Cloud Motel too, so we've been kind of doing a lot of pushing for that film. Um, That's awesome. I've been doing a lot of uh, writing. Yeah, like I, I got this reviews. new thing with writing movie reviews, and I like doing it for some fucking weird reason. <laughs> <laughs> then you can then you can tell everybody like, what you think of their crappy movies, <laughs> or their really good ones. Pretty much. Pretty <laughs> much. Actually, I really like the crappy movies. <laughs> Me too. Dude, my whole. Have you seen? Okay. Have you seen? Hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, I wonder if I have the Discord. Hold on. Oh, this is just Santa's sleigh. Remember DVDs? I'm this old. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's sleigh. I love movies like this. Yeah, I, love I do too. I like, a lot, I like to watch a lot of the ones from like the late 80s into like the early 90s. Facts. Like, I love like chop them up, nasty ass, like gore <laughs> film with shit tons of titties. If you, that's awesome. Dude, gratuitous titties are literally the only reason horror movies exist. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I like that. And I like, oh, yeah. um, I, there's this one called Hanger. I don't know, like, if we can talk about that controversial one in here, but oh, yeah. I love that movie. It's really fucked up. <laughs> We're usually like, there's no like rating on our show. You can t cuss, talk about whatever word works for yourself. It's like, yeah, it's like this one where this guy. Funny like gives this lady an abortion with a hanger, and, like murders a baby and the baby comes back to life and like kills people. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. So we do a like horror remove, like movie review show on Monday. So maybe we need to like make that I one will that send you. I will send you guys, I will send you guys the name of, I will send you guys like some link to it. You have to watch it. If you love B horror movies that like are really like demented and make you go, what the fuck? It's definitely good. <laughs> I got kicked. Which movie are you guys talking about? What? Which movie are you guys talking about? I it disconnected me for a minute. Oh, it's called Hanger. Hanger. I think it's called I'll Hanger. Check it out. I have time to check shit out, so don't watch it with your kids, Nate. <laughs> Damn it. It's like not not for children. No. I think the last real fucked up one we watched was uh Tusk was pretty fucked Tusk, up. Tusk, yeah. If you haven't well, seen that, watch it. What's it called? Like, oh, tusk. tusk. Like what? Oh, okay. Tusk. I thought you said husk. It's yeah. hard to hear. I was like, husk. That's a weird <laughs> name for a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard of that one. What, what's his name in that one, right? Um. Uh, Johnny Depp is in it. Yeah, Johnny uh, Depp is in it, but what? it's like a B-rated horror film. It's directed by Kevin Smith, who's the guy who yeah. plays. Uh, he's Silent Bob and Jerry yeah. Silent Bob. Yeah, what I just hung with him. Yeah, I worked with him a couple months ago, Kevin Smith and Jay. Really? Awesome. Yeah, for their um, they did their tour uh, for their their new movie, and they did the screening. 
at the Grove Anaheim where I work a lot and I got to meet them. We got pictures and stuff and they're way cool dudes. Like I know them forever. Those type of people, they're just friendly to everybody. They're like, Hey, get over here. I was on the loading dock. I'm like, what did I do now? You know, they're like, no, oh, I was getting a picture, man. Let's go. Or like, I'm like, <laughs> and with, they're like, you know, I've been watching their movies since I was young. So it was a trip. That was awesome. Nathan never invites us to do cool stuff like meet Kevin Smith. <laughs> well, I was working. I didn't know I was going to hang with them. And then, then Jay was actually there the week before uh, when we did King Diamond. So, I mean, that was cool. So he, he's like, hey. King Diamond? Wow. Yeah. I thought we were friends. I thought yeah. we were friends. Jay was all walking back from loading dock. We had face paint on because it's King Diamond. And I didn't I didn't know he was. And my buddy's like, hey, Jay, can I get an autograph? And then when he started speaking, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, and then I realized who he was, dude. So, I mean, that was cool. He's also a little yeah. weight now, though. He's definitely no longer a fat man in a trench coat. Yeah. He's sober. Sober. That's good. Yeah. And Kevin's not. Kevin was just lighting us uh, on stage when they were doing the Q&A. He didn't care. <laughs> the edibles. That kind of something very similar to me back in November. We got invited to come out and host the Shockfest Film Festival in Las Vegas. And that we go out so there, and I'm standing at our head. What? I said, that's so dope. Sorry, so I didn't mean to interrupt. We're, <laughs> well, <you're laughs> so we're sitting there, and I'm talking. So I was checking him out at our table, and my buddy who went with us who was helping us run the table, he's like elbowing the shit out of me. He's like, Scoops, you got to look. I look up, and I see this dude standing there. I'm like, why does this motherfucker look so familiar? And he looks at me. I'm like, why do you look familiar? And he looked at me again, like dumbfounded. I'm like, oh my God, that's fucking Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the first thing out of my mouth is, I was you here for the nookie? <laughs> he oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and so, he was like, oh. <laughs> it was funny. So he started laughing. He thought it was cool, but I didn't recognize him because he's like fully like gray hair. Like, Right yeah, yeah. Right right old, including us. We just don't recognize it. I was like seeing uh, photos. I, 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 I saw this I saw this thing the other day that was like photos of bring me it was like 18 years of bring me the horizon. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I looked at all the photos and you see when like Ollie was like, I don't know, 12. And then like now they're all like grown ass men with silver in their hair, and you're like, wow, dude, we're fucking old now. Fuck. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I feel every time I start talking about it or, or seeing it. I'm like, God, am I really that now? Like, fuck. Pretty much, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where the hell did time go? Now time's really going because, like, I get up and I don't even know what fucking time of the day it is. I don't know what day of the week it is. <laughs> I don't know the day. I don't know shit. I my sleep, my sleep schedule's all fucked up. Yeah, I've been working, oh, so yeah, I go to bed too. at like 11, and then I wake up at 8.30, so I know what day it is Monday through Friday, because my boss is like, hey, we got shit to do. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but You're again, like, do we <laughs> I'm like, do yeah, we? we Who's no really fucking... buying anything right now is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we have no fucking clue when it is, what day it is, because like, you know, this is our yeah. full-time job so we're normally we're used to be on a tour and right. now like our whole our tour got wiped out and we're working from home and it's like what fucking day is it are we supposed to teach the kids school today <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they have a zoom meeting with the teacher because i can't remember and if it is we probably missed it <laughs> did i get rid of it okay i feel you so it, it's it's been. Uh, do y'all have kids? Yeah, no. I do. I'm the only he one. Has, with kids he, in has, he has he has enough kids for everybody in the band. That's fine. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> so you you, you have been, been having the uh, joy. <laughs> Maybe that was too far. Sorry, too far. Have, have, have you been going through the joy schooling? Say one more time, it skipped out. Have you had the joy of doing homeschooling yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they, I mean, they're pretty much on their own with that. You know, they're old enough. 
you know, so my, um, I was 19 oh, when I had my, my first daughter. So I was, you know, thought I was old then, but I was just a baby. So, yeah. So they pretty much do it on their own. My youngest, like, needs a lot of motiv motivation, like taking her cell phone away and stuff like that. But <laughs> I have a, I have a bullfrog. You guys want to see my bullfrog? He's really big. Yeah, I do. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. His name is Jeremiah. <laughs> no shit. I didn't even know that. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I, I have never, ever met anyone who has a bullfrog for a pet. <laughs> now I want one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so awesome. cute. <laughs> His name is Jeremiah. He literally has I literally have a bullfrog. He's very look how cute he is. Look at that uh, mug. He's an African bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does he's camera shy apparently. But yeah, his name is Mr. Jeremiah Business. He's my friend. <laughs> that is awesome. Did you like catch it or did you buy it from somewhere? Well, that's an African bullfrog, so she bought it. What if she caught it? You don't know. What the fuck are you gonna catch an African bullfrog? <laughs> I don't know if you bought it. I wish I would have bought it when I bought him. I just got rid of If anyone were to find that. Now my hands are all froggy. I'm going to get warts. That's not true. That's a myth, by the way. I just wanted to spell that myth. You don't get warts from touching frogs or toads. But what happens if you lick it? Is that true? I do not want to lick him because he smells like bullfrog. But I hear you get high or something. Gross. No, there, there, is that a one, there is one particular frog that that works, and it's from Australia. I do know yeah, that. That is true. You can't yes. get high from looking Australian fro toad frog something. It secretes a toxin, Don't which say that you're, really, <laughs> you're really not supposed to do it, but if you lick it, it will fuck you up. You'll get high. I wonder who the first person that did that was. Yeah, like, right. The first person was like, they're just like holding the frog and they're like, I wonder. And then they're like, I wonder if it's legal <laughs> and if you have to like call your frog dealer or be sneaky about it or just go catch one. I think they just go out and catch one because there's, like there's like a mating season. I'm like, <laughs> could you imagine being a cop and out there? There's like people walking around the road picking up frogs and licking it. <laughs> you call my frog <laughs> dealer. I think he's a, my frog dealer has to re up. He doesn't have any right now. <laughs> We're like laying on the side of the road, fucking <laughs> licking frogs. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. You're going. I don't know why it reminds me of Beavis and Butthead. Did they do something like that or was that peyote in that movie? I don't know. It was peyote. Uh, uh, I don't like yeah, it was peyote. I'm sure they licked a frog or two. He said lick a poison. <laughs> is it? Is it? I would not lick. His name, is, his, his name is Mr. Meeseeks. Is that a monitor? Or what is that? He is a, he is a blue tongue skink. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a blue tongue skink. Those things are cool. He's going to bite me. It'll be great. I've had one. It'll be great for TV if he bites me. <laughs> Singer of singer of local metal band gets her nose bitten off by a blue tongue skink <laughs> while being interviewed That's by murderous clowns. It'll be great. <laughs> be for sure. I didn't mean to call you murderous. How long have you me. guys been? <laughs> we do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it works. How long have you been a band together? So the. See? It's kind of a hard question to answer. So the the real answer is since 2018 and like end of 2018, so like a like a year and a few months. Um, the other answer is before I met these guys, I sort of like had an idea for a band, and I was like kind of I had like fill in players, but everybody was just like my friend who was also who and all the people were already like in other bands, so they were just kind of helping me out, like develop the idea. Um, and that happened in 2016, but I didn't get like legitimate full time members until 2018. Yeah, it's been about. That's I think it was. Good. I think I joined in March of 2018. Me and Ben joined the same day. We auditioned the same day, and then we're, you know, you guys called us that day or the next day. So I think yeah. it's been about exactly two years for me and the drummer Ben. Johnny was already in it. Yeah, he was like play he was like playing with me when the band was just called Destruct, but like we never released any music under that name. We played like. Some little tiny bar shows. Can you not knock over my 
can stand. I also have a cat. I have a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that's okay. I have uh, two. <laughs> I have two snakes, a bullfrog, a skinks, an English bull terrier, and a cat, all in a one-bedroom apartment. It's like it's too much. And so she already <laughs> had a video for Break Free um, with some old members. Um, that was my ploy. Probably don't want to mention one. Band yet. So it basically, so here's what name. actually here's what actually happened, right? Nobody in Los Angeles, listen to me, nobody in Los Angeles wanted to be part of a fledgling project with me. It was so annoying. Everybody that I talked to was like, oh, we want to join something established or we want to join something that's already touring. And I'm like, but it's a good idea. So I met Matt Zane, who directed Break Free, and Carlton, who's an orgy, and he's the one who did the uh, production for Break Free. Um, and we got together and like I had a bunch of fill-ins and I made this like ridiculously overpriced video. Um, not that Matt overcharged. I'm just saying for a band that wasn't even a band yet, it seemed like maybe pretty risky to like invest a few thousand dollars into something where you're like, I don't even know if I'm going to have members. So anyway, so I used that and that was the bait. So that's how I lured people into being a band. <laughs> yeah, I was like, look how like legit <laughs> Yeah, so when I when I parted ways with Dirty Machine, our mutual friend said, "Hey, I know somebody looking for a bass player," and he um, put me in touch with Francesca and she sent me the video. And I'm like, "Oh hell yeah, I want to come audition." So that's it. and then went from there. It was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> now you're trapped forever. Forever. You, you got, I, I really. Got Building a band is like the hardest motherfucking thing that you could ever do on the fucking planet. Because I tried. The gods and goddesses know that I tried for fucking years. And I could not ever successfully do it. Ever. It's hard. I mean, because like, okay. Everybody has their own crap they need to do. Most people have. And the older you get, the harder it is, right? You think the older you get, the easier it is. Because you're like, hey, now I actually have a little bit of money. And some stability. I have a car, and I can like you know handle my shit. But no, as you get an adult, it gets even harder because everybody gets married and has kids, and they have fucking responsibilities. Oh my god, okay. embarrassing. Anyway, oh, so yeah. they have this my stuff. Man. <laughs> and so it's really hard, you know. And then we all have to get along, which with me is not easy because I am not an easy person to get along with. Sometimes I'm very Type A personality when it comes to my stuff that I care about, like my band. I'm kind of bossy. Mm. <laughs> okay. You are her. What? Me? Yes, you. I'm what? You're the boss. I am the boss. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, I said I'm the boss. I'm very aware of this. I accepted it long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like, it's time to go exactly like this. Or I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> you, all you guys, but you know what? You know what? It gets done. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> give me a give me the right direction, yeah. and everything is all okay. Yeah. That, that, that's that, that's it. Get me tattooed. Her her favorite thing. I don't know if y'all like to like fuck with each other within the band, but she loves to fuck with me. And her favorite thing in the world to do to me. It's extremely painful all the time. Is we we'll go to a tattoo. We we tour with this tattoo convention called Villain Arts. We cover a bunch of stuff for Villain Arts, so we go and do six or seven of them every year. She'll come to me and tell me you have an hour or you have thirty minutes. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? She's like, nope, you're getting tattooed. I picked it, and you're just going to get it, and you don't know what it is until it's done. <laughs> and she's done this to me several times already. Where I'm like, I'm just for it. Did she pay for uh, it, too? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. but, you know, cool. I'm a good sport. I, I go do it. But I think not the last one, but the one before was horrible. Mm. So she <laughs> tells me, you're going to get tattooed right now. I said, okay. And so I go over there, and this lady shows me this Ouija board planchet. And I'm like, hey, that's dope. And I'm like, where am I going, though? Because I'm like, I'm like 80, 90% covered. And she was like, the top of your head. Oh, no. Are you fucking <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that shit sucks ass. I got it. It's like it's right it. on the side of my fucking skull. You can see it if you just look that way and then lean forward. It's like right here. 
Oh, I can't imagine what that feels like. That would be awful. My, I mean, I'm, I'm a fucking baby when I get tattooed. Like, I have, I don't have a lot. I mean, my arms and legs are covered, but, well, leg, I'm not really that covered. But anyway, the point is that I'm a fucking baby when I get tattooed. <laughs> and I don't understand these people who are like, I love getting tattooed. I'm like, I hate it. I love the end result, so I keep doing it. But every time I sit down in a tattoo chair, I'm like, why do I fucking do this to myself? Why do I do this? This is like, this is dumb. This just hurts. I don't know why. What is why? I could have just not spent hundreds of dollars for somebody to hurt me on purpose, you know? But, <laughs> but yeah, so my elbows, my elbows were pretty bad. My elbow was pretty bad, but, and that's already starting to fall out. So yeah. I'm going to get that redone soon. But what was really awful was like up on top of my shoulder up here, like my collarbone area. It's just like, I feel like I just could feel it in my elbow and in my hand. And it just felt like somebody was like drilling a nail all the way through my arm. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> fuck it. But you know what? Now I miss it because I can't get any tattoos because nothing is open. Oh, God. Exactly. I feel people. like you want to do something more. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to the next tattoo. I really am. Mm -hmm. Now you miss kind it. Of. Kind of. <laughs> I, I miss it. The only part I don't miss is what is the next spot that she's going to pit. Right. That's what scares me. I don't know. I don't even know yet. It's a mystery. So do y'all do, do that to each other? Do y'all fuck with each other, prank each other? Because I've heard some pretty bad poor prank stories. Well, what's poopy or shitty, because I can say whatever I want here. Yeah. What's shitty is yeah. that we have not toured yet as a band. Like, we have gone to play festivals at a state and at which time we were like really tired and trying to figure out how to get Nate anywhere on time for any reason. And so there wasn't really a lot of time. I'm just teasing Nate. <laughs> there wasn't really a lot of time to like mess with each other. Um, but I think on tour it'll be different because like it's just too easy when you're around the same people in a tiny van for, you know, three weeks straight and you're just like, man, look at you over there sleeping peacefully. I just can't let that happen. Yeah, I, I love scaring people and pranking people, so it's on. And then if one person starts, it's probably gonna it's be a whole, yeah, it's it's like a snowball, it's over. <laughs> our old our old guitarists are there's a thing like if any photo was taken from a show with our mouths open, he would photoshop something right he would photoshop a giant dick in your mouth. It's so annoying. <laughs> After every show, I'd be like, and then he would send me pictures backstage of me being like with a giant dick, and I'm like, I swear to whoever, for the love of whoever, stop photoshopping dicks in my photos. <laughs> yeah. He photoshopped me on, onto like the toilet, performing on the toilet one time. Because you were because you were jumping, so your legs fell up in the air. Yeah. And, like, look on your face and like put on a toilet to look like. Shit. <laughs> That's amazing. You can make business out of that. You're like, I have this picture of. This celebrity, fuck it up. I think there's a guy that does do that. I'm pretty really? sure, yeah. So? I yeah. like the guy who yeah, does yeah, with probably. the slugs. I, where he like replaces the bass players with the bases with slugs or whatever. Well, I think no, oh, yeah, 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 those are bass that. fish. Oh yeah, or the bass fish. That's yeah. also legitimate. Yeah, I've seen those. I've seen those. That's funny though. <laughs> I've I've definitely seen those. So, what <laughs> made you guys want to be musicians? Oh. What's that? What made you want to be a musician? Like, is there a certain band? Was there a certain instance that just you were like, this is what I want to do? Yeah, I read so, out Chili Peppers when I was like six. But you go ahead. <laughs> so um, I when I was like 11 or so, basically, so my stepdad was like a music producer, but for country music. So I was around music my whole life. But I didn't really have much of an aspiration to be a musician, but I did like join band and everything when I was like 11, you know, like middle school band, played the trumpet, all that good stuff. And I was in band like all the way through high school. Even I was in marching band. I wore like a little plume and everything. It's great. But um, me too. <laughs> I was a total nerd and I loved every minute of it and I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> but anyway, so when I was like 13 or 14, since I could read sheet music at that point, I really wanted to like do something and um i wanted a guitar and i asked my stepdad for a guitar and he was like the only way i'll buy you a guitar is if i see you actually take the time to learn the instrument first and so he bought me a bass instead of a guitar um because he thought it was going to be easier for me just to like kind of pick up where the notes are and then i could transition into playing guitar 
And then I saw the video for Judith by a perfect circle. And um, when I when I saw their bass player flip her hair up and stomp on the bass pedal, pedal I was like, I that that is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to be a musician that is sexy as hell. And then after that, I just play bass for a long time. <laughs> That's kind of similar to mine. I mean, I'm, um, my cousin played me Red Hot Chili Peppers' his car. I think it was, I don't know if it was Blood Sugar Sex Magic or what. And I was like, I think six years old. And I'm, it gave me a headache. I'm like, turn it off. Next day, I was like, put that back on, put that back on. And then from there, um, uh, Flea just blew me away. And then Anthony with his whole, you know, they're just crazy. And I'm like, what is he doing on bass? You know, I knew it wasn't a guitar and I really didn't know what a bass was. So I'm like, I got to do that. Uh, sorry, my girlfriend was my girlfriend was flashing me her boobs right now. Oh, that was not nice. yeah. Oh, wow. She knows I'm doing this, and she came trying to distract me. That's why I'm like deer headlights. Anyway, what was it doing? Like, oh my god, Nate, show me your boobs. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. He'll be like on the phone, like on a business call, and I'll walk out and just be like, yeah, be like. She stops arguments that way. I'm like, if I'm ever mad, just do that, and I'll forget what the hell we're arguing about. But it doesn't work the other way around. I can't show her my wiener and stops arguing. She just laughs. laughs. But anyway, I, so I was like, I gotta play bass. So, you know, Flea and Les Claypool were just like, I was like, whoa, you know. So similar to Francesca, my parents were like, okay, let's see if you want to do blah blah. blah. So they rented me a bass. If you stick with it for three months, we'll buy you one. So I stuck with it with lessons, and they bought me a bass. And then a uh, four-string Fender Mustang for my cousin, 1972 Mustang. He's like, if you ever sell it, you got to sell it back to me. So after about a year, I switched to five-string and um, you know, sold it back to him, which I regret that Fender because they don't make, they didn't even make them then. And when I got it, they stopped making it. But anyway, but my first band when I was before I picked up the bass, me and my neighborhood wanted to play and we were all into cannibal corpse shit so we started a band necrotomy but we only had like an acoustic guitar so we we're just like doing death metal voices and strumming on the guitar not knowing how to play and that was our first band that's awesome <laughs> acoustic death metal necrotomy <laughs> i think i think that's oh, yeah. a new thing let's do acoustic death metal are you serious new move for fate destroyed <laughs> death metal. that'd be great Oh, I'll be disappointed if I don't hear at least one song like that. <laughs> we'll see you guys yeah. next time. And, oh, and then um, Anthony um, made me want to sing for bands. So I learned how to sing and all that. And I was in choirs. Uh, me and a couple guys were the first ones to to join choir. It was all girls. So we did that just to start a band then. And I was singing for that band. And that's how I learned how to sing. And we did it just because we didn't know how to sing. So we're like, well, let's join choir and learn. Even though that wasn't the music we were looking, but it helped uh, us learn. Yeah, him. which so. is great because he's the only one in our band that can sing harmonies. Johnny is useless at singing harmonies. Yeah, <laughs> really helped with that with harmonies a lot. I, yeah, I do owe a lot to that. I need to, I need backup vocals sometimes, lots of times, because it just fills out the sound. It makes everything sound more complete and full. And uh, like mm -hmm. Johnny, his hair is always you know he's like <laughs> rocking out metal dude, and then Roger is always jumping around the stage like a crazy person and Nate usually does that but then he fucking holds it down by coming in to sing the harmonies and yeah. and, and she has a lot of high you know on the re records um with her backing herself up on the recording so I got to do the high falsetto and then jump to like a backup scream and then a, a high falsetto um again to um back her up and harmonize with her you know so I'm um, like trying to mimic um, her voice sometimes in the higher pitch. So and I should just back. run and like kick you in the nuts before the high parts. You like, oh! yeah. <laughs> so Western thing is you pinch the left nut and you, hey! and you sing really nice. <laughs> so I would love to do that. That would be great. A great opportunity. Not the I right. I would one. really, really. <laughs> <laughs> now it's an inside secret. You can't know. I just walk. Yeah. I just walk well, it's live. We just gave it away. That's true. Yep. And Jim, <laughs> well, just let him get in front of you and creep up behind him. And just there you go. Fucking <laughs> reach from underneath. Just 
kick me from the Oh, yeah, just right up under there. Just give it a good old slap. That beer almost fucking bit the dust. Um, so if you could cover any song, what would it be? Any song, any genre, doesn't matter. Go ahead. So we already did a really weird cover. And you know what? Ups uh, not upsets me, but so now there's like this whole craze of doing Nirvana covers, which we did not cover in Nirvana. We covered Lead Belly. However, now there's like this huge craze going on with people covering Nirvana songs. Um, and I'm like, but we already did that. But it's the song of ours that has gotten the least attention, which like I get it. It's really different and weird and like very instrumental and electronic and not really our style. And I can like see why some people didn't like it. But I thought it was cool. It was different. But that is. But I don't know, dude. What do you think? If you could cover any song... What you want to cover? I don't know. There's so many good songs in the world. Fuck. I don't know. I would. I don't know. I would definitely want to do something else that was like really from left field. I don't think I would want to cover something that you'd expect for us to cover. You know. I think we should do Nine Inch Nails closer, just because I think that. it'd be cool with the chick singing it. We did that before you were in the band, and it oh, did not turn well. Yeah, oh. we didn't let it. We didn't release it, but um. I mean, I love Nine Inch Nails. Is like, love them forever. But I would want to cover something that's like really left. Like, I can see you. <laughs> Sorry, she's flashing me again. I was gonna point the camera. <laughs> <laughs> she ran. <laughs> Sorry. You we should because you're just like. like I kind of want to do one of those pop goes metal or metal goes pop or whatever fucking things. And I want to cover like some, like random ass on what. I think that'd be dope. I love those albums. I used to buy those. Uh, I think they're cool. Albums. Just to, like, I don't know, just see something like really fucking weird. I would love to cover a Billie Eilish song. You should see me with a crown. Hell yeah. I would love to cover that song. We could oh, make yeah. that fucking heavy as fuck. That'd be yeah. dope. That'd be dope. Somebody covered it in like the style of Family Guy characters. That was cool. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> YouTube it. It's awesome. <laughs> I think it's all from a bat, you know, and they had Peter singing it. Now I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I think that, is, that cool. is happening. That would be cool. So, being that I know, I know you are a big horror film fan. What is your favorite horror film, like on the entire fucking planet? I don't know, can you see it? Can you see what it is? Mm -mm. It's a xenomorph. It's alien. The alien series is my favorite horror movie of all time. I should have guessed. <laughs> I know. I have like, mine tattooed. Let me see. <gasps> oh gosh. Uh, what's that one? Aww. The it's alien. Same, same little helper. Hey. It's a Halloween. It's a uh, uh, trick or treat. Yeah, trick or treat. There we go. Yes, that is a great movie too. Yeah, yeah but um, yeah. So it's such a cool tattoo. It's hard to see. Uh, stupid arm going off yeah, the direction. Sure. So yeah, that so I love I love, and so I mean I know it's not really like a horror movie, it's more like a sci-fi movie, but it was at the time it was scary. When well, I was a little kid and I saw that movie, it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, for sure. I count it as horror. I would say it's like sci-fi horror. Oh yeah, for sure. Because there, there's a there's a difference between sci-fi and like sci-fi horror. Yeah. There's yeah. a big difference. Yeah. So yeah, I, I or still anything by John Carpenter. Like I really love, I really love like uh, the Thing or Videodrome, which is a really underappreciated movie. I love that movie because I feel like it has like a other message. So Suspiria is also actually really good, but kind of long. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's it's great in general, they're usually like really long. <laughs> I have so many yeah. I like, but I mean, one that just jumps to my head is House of a Thousand Corpses and all of Rob Zombie's shit I like a lot, yeah. but I also That's like a lot of older titties. ones, too. Huh? That's because there's titties, and who doesn't <laughs> want titties? As you can see, it's very easy to motivate Nate. You just need titties. <laughs> Not most guys. That's true. I, 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 I agree with him. I don't have anything, so I don't have a dog in this fight, but. <laughs> Let's see if I can. I don't know if you guys can see it, this comment that I just popped up, but it should be popping up, maybe, possibly. There you go. Which Sam Smith song? 
Huh. That would be cool. What what is, right hey, now? is this is from his wife? It's Beth Smith commenting. Sam Smith at what sound? What is the name of the song at what sound? I'm write the sound. No, this the song is uh, I know I'm not the only one. Oh. The song. I'm literally writing that down. We need more covers. <laughs> We can do request style. We can do, oh, dude, yeah, you know we should do, we should do a freaking thing on our th like band page where we say what should we cover and then whatever gets the most votes we like cover and then send the person like a free mm -hmm. T-shirt for suggesting a song for us to cover. And then yeah, if it sucks, we go. get a bunch of shit for it. We can say it's your fault. Way to suck, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to. Chayton, Chayton. I, I don't know. They said, really cheers and beers. Know. Thank God for clowns or I wouldn't be here. You're oh. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so at, the, at this point of the show, we actually let the audience ask yeah. you guys questions. Mm -hmm. Bring it. So it, it might be weird. It might be weird. It could get weird. It could get weird <laughs> as shit. But in the meantime, we'll just sit here and continue to bullshit and have a good time and uh, talk about crazy shit. So. As of shows, do you guys have any shows that are still intact this year? Yeah. So Blue Ridge so far is still supposed to happen. Um, we have not heard any word from the people running it that it is canceled, which is awesome. We haven't even heard any word that it might be canceled, which is also awesome. But of course, they can't like guarantee with 100% certainty that's going to happen. But they keep releasing headliners and stuff, and it seems like it's still a go. I hope that still happens. Yeah, um, well, I watched the CEO at a whole live thing about maybe. it. And I'm, they're doing whatever it can because if they cancel it, they're going to take a huge hit, you know, with everything yeah. they've already invested. So they're doing everything they can. But of course, they want to follow all safety procedures that they need to. I mean, they already make taking donations to make masks on, have them on site for Blue Ridge Rockfest masks. And they might have to do the social distancing, which the, space is endless i hear that he, yeah. you know, he said so it's very possible so they're gonna do whatever they can they're still they're announcing um you know big bands and headliners and stuff like that still that we didn't even know about because i think they had to switch ones that were already on it that we knew about it that weren't announced that to pull out possibly yeah. so some of them were surprised like they just announced um Bad Wolves and uh bear tooth we're just like oh shit we didn't even know it's cool yeah that, that wasn't was an all awesome this change, so really you know? So it's that right now it's on, but they are giving full refunds to anybody bought a ticket, but they do have like an incentive if they have to reschedule yeah, for next yeah. year. That those people, if they hold on to their ticket, they'll get like a special one, you know, for the next when they reschedule it. But as of right now, it's on, and that's in Virginia. And 423 Rock Fest was still scheduled to play as postponed once, and that's in July. And um, Fate Destroyed yeah. and uh, another band that's playing Green Jello is on that. And a bunch of bands. So as of right now, that's on, but we want to have solid confirmation until about 30 days before if it's a go or not, because they just don't know either, but they want to have it. And if they have to reschedule, they're just gonna wait till next year. So yeah, we yeah. were we were actually supposed to host 423 Rock Fest. Oh, okay. And the date they were right. scheduled it for. Unfortunately, we are we're already scheduled for another event. Yeah. That's right. So you did tell we, me about that, yeah. Yeah, we will not. They have for next year, but we will not be there this year like we are going to be. Yeah. Um, I want to answer Rebecca's question. The answer is yes. On May 18th, which is like next week or soon next week. Yes. Um, we're releasing a new single called Crave. Um, we filmed a music video for it in quarantine, which was weird because all of our actual music videos have been like big productions that we went to studios and did all this stuff to like film and there was a crew and a bunch of stuff. Um, but this video we filmed uh, in Garage and Roger filmed yeah, it why? in a different state. Um, so May 18th, the song is called Crave. It's going to be out. We will probably be re releasing the video a little bit before the song actually drops on streaming services. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be coming out next, and then we probably won't be releasing anything after that until we release the full length, which should be end of July um, or early. Sorry, end of August or early September. Sorry, I got my months mixed up. But yeah, and then we'll have a full length, which will be at least ten songs and with a collab 
between us and another metal band that is also playing Blue Ridge and we may tour with, um, which should be cool. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked to see how it turns out. I mean, it's being edited and stuff right now, and I haven't even seen it yet. So, looking forward to that video. Cool song. It's different. It was kind of weird to, like, I'm so used to being such a stickler for production quality being really high you know like i'm really i want us to be and look professional and you know i want us to hang with the big boys and not put anything else not put anything up it's like not to the epitome of the best production value that we can get to but it's just with this quarantine going on and everything you know obviously we couldn't do that and we just this song was actually going to be on the full length but since we, we are we're not playing any shows we don't have any way to keep up momentum you know we don't have any way to remind people like we're here because we're not out like playing the shows and playing the festivals and getting in front of people so the only thing we can do now is uh is release a new song so we decided to see what we can make happen in a garage and we'll see we'll see how it turns out <laughs> you're not you're not the only one doing it we had a interview with uh waylon revis a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago and a killer's confession just did the exact same thing but they all film from their cell phones their from own home houses, yeah. at their own houses and then sent it to their production crew and had them like work the best magic they possibly could with like, and it turned out great. The video looked great. Honestly. One of them was shit That's on the awesome. Toilet. Oh yeah. One of, them was, one of them was taking a shit on the toilet. That was <laughs> fucking funny. Yeah. I got to look that up. That, uh, that, Killer Confessions is playing 423 Rock Fest, I think too. Yeah, yep, yep. Way Wayland's a, a very good friend of ours and has oh. been on with us many a time, so he knows our answers. Sorry, I was just responding yeah, to Wayland something you need shared. I will say, hey, you know what? The best and most amazing thing anyone can do for any musician or artist is to share their shit. It is free. It costs exactly zero share this. to share something. What? Share this. This live yeah, stream. share this. Oh, I thought you said share tits. I was like, we're not that kind of band, Nate. <laughs> that, that <too. laughs> you don't want to do that. You know I tried to get her on we camera, did that. Did it, but she ran. So I tried to share them. Well, I'll, 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 share a, I'll share a really <laughs> fucked up story with you. Back Sweet. when me and her first got, when we, when me and her first got together, this is we're going on our third year of doing this together. Uh, we had decided that we were going to get Snapchat. And oh God. we got really drunk. We got really drunk on a live feed one night. And we were fucking around. This girl was like, oh, both of you, can I send you my titties? And we're like, sure. We we didn't think that she was gonna send anything. Like we were just fucking off. Well then we get this Snapchat. She sends a video. A fucking video. And it starts at like her neck and it goes down. She's got scoops written across her tits. It goes down. She's butt naked. It goes a little bit lower and she's wrote insert cone here. And she is masturbating with a waffle cone. Waffle like cone. going to downtown <laughs> with this waffle cone. Two scoops now, the real question one. is, did she eat the waffle cone afterwards? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a, we should have. It was like sugar doesn't go there. <laughs> this could be a new thing. That is so new challenge. Uh, it was it's a new challenge. No cool shit like that ever happens to me anymore. I'm just old now. The waffle cone challenge. <laughs> and I was going to ask you. I was like, have you bored enough to get a? I was going to ask if you were bored enough to, that you got an OnlyFans account yet, because <laughs> that's everybody right now. <laughs> no, I do not have an OnlyFans account. What? No, no I don't me either. I don't have any problem with OnlyFans account. I think whatever people got to do or want to do to hustle for their shit, that's great. Um, but I just feel like it's already kind of hard to be taken seriously sometimes as a chick who does mm -hmm. metal. And even though a lot of society has made tons of progress towards making everybody feel inclusive about that kind of stuff, I just worry still that not everybody has come over to the logistical side of it's your body who fucking cares and like i don't know i just get worried about it if that makes any sense and then people are just like yeah, oh, i don't like your band because you show tits and i'm like no hopefully people like my band because they like our music and because nate <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna have my cones mold and I'm gonna sell fucking waffle cone dildos. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. You'd be no, no blue waffles though. Oh no, you can't be blue, yeah. Blue 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 that won't sell I, I made I made I made a <laughs> terrible mistake of Googling that whenever <laughs> a while back and yeah. it was haunted me for about oh three months. <laughs> we, we we're telling people about her it comes up somewhere we're like that's how we get people to do it. we're like whatever you do don't google it don't don't and then they have to and then it's funny it's a bad right. idea right because you know curiosity killed the cat it's so. such a bad idea <laughs> it is, now, yeah, look, now look what you've done now everybody, everybody out gonna there go google blue waffles <laughs> Uh, Definitely not while you're eating. No, <laughs> do not. And if you're going do to not. wait till after this, it's better than it's better oh, than one in one jar though. Anything with one <laughs> or two, <laughs> dude, one man one jar literally scarred me for life. If I could have killed myself afterwards, I probably should have. Fuck oh, that. I don't know. Two girls, one cup scarred me pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy a waffle cone dildo. That's awesome. <laughs> There's already a market. market for your dildos, right? You got to make one that's also a strap on so the ladies can also enjoy the waffle cone dildos. Oh, well, you can get the plastic ones where you pull the string and it shoots the ice cream out, the plastic ice cream. <laughs> so you put it in there and pull the string wow. and it shoots that out. You don't talk about. I have no idea what you're talking about. The- you're doing some weird shit, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a great idea. So I'm gonna do like the cone, right? But the ice cream on top is gonna be like a fucking flashlight. So the dude can like fuck the the ice cream, and the girl can like fuck the waffle cone side. Oh my god! <laughs> but a little different. And he also said, "I'm waiting for waffle cone dildo videos on Pornhub." <laughs> I was about to say, now I know whose Pornhub I'm subscribing to because that sounds interesting. <laughs> I definitely want to see that in action. <laughs> there's a there's a fetish for everything. Oh, I know. Trust me, I know. We 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 did uh back in 2018, we did uh we got invited to come out and do rock and chalk when it was still going. And I uh I left our booth area to go to the restroom and this little girl comes up and grabs me by the collar and she goes i have a clown fetish you're fucking me right now where are we going <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, i froze i didn't even know what to say normally i'm really quick with words and right. like i never had this happen before so i was like i just froze and i'm like you gotta go talk to her and i point <laughs> at her and she looks at me she looks at her again and she's like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> walks off. Like, wow. All right, I got to have that one. That that was fucking weird. So what is the first yeah, she is. What is the first thing you guys are gonna do when you when when lockdown's over? What are you guys gonna go do first? Across the street to the Mexican restaurant I like to hang out at. Hey. Dude, I will never ever ever take for granted margaritas at a mexican restaurant ever again in my whole life i thought hey, that so. I, you can make there, there is little, it's not the fucking same dude it's not the same if you walk out like if you were sitting here in our in our studio and you walked out the front door there is a mexican restaurant like 200 feet in front of it what the i'm jealous <laughs> And they make the best damn fajitas, enchiladas, and margaritas you could ever freaking imagine. And, and he I, says he's going to go fuck at the beach. I <laughs> miss it so much. That sounds like a great yeah, idea. I, I actually, I hate fucking at the beach. I hate fucking at the beach because Sam gets into places. Not, and I go home making pearls. I don't want to make pearls. <laughs> it doesn't that's matter. Like, that's you like. Down, you can go rinse off in the water. You're going to get fucking sand in places sand should never be. And yeah. nobody likes to get fucked by sandpaper. Dude, like, yeah, for for a dude, it's like fucking sandpaper. You might as well take a sandpaper, roll it up, and use it as a fucking damn <laughs> flashlight. 
Hey, I yeah, found that out the hard way when I was about 14. I found that out <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that would be so bad, though, to get a piece of sand in your, like, pee hole. So I'm saying, yeah. you fucking yeah, make it hurt me stones from fucking at the beach. <laughs> Fucking, fucking in the woods isn't much better. I was I was banging this chick whenever I was like 15. Oh my god. And we were out in the fucking woods of Oklahoma and I was just getting it a certain way and went a little too hard and went down and I got my nut sack poked with a fucking tree branch. <laughs> Hot. That did not feel good at all. What if you would have got poison ivy? Oh, I've done that before too. That's worse. Well, I don't know what's worse. I got pulled back in my butthole once. <laughs> I don't want to ask. Well, no, I got, I do we got ask. done. I definitely want to ask. <laughs> I, no, I was, we were going at it and I was on top and I rolled over just to like sit down and I sat in a huge ass fucking patch of it. I mean, I got it on my nuts, asshole, <laughs> tank, up my butt, down my thighs, all over. And how old you were yeah. So did you go home and you were like, so mom? Oh, no, no, no. I knew what to do. My ass went straight to the store, got calamine lotion, and I didn't yeah. tell fucking nobody. At least you didn't like go home. Nobody. Like, so. Did you guys notice the name of the person from that comment? It's anal poop, poop pusher. Poop pusher. <laughs> They're the real MVP. I just noticed that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Dana, that's terrible. She said she fucked a coworker on her boss's desk. <laughs> what do you mean terrible? That's awesome. <laughs> but not her boss. I don't, have enough, I don't have enough balls for that. I would have done that. I should have done that. <laughs> I could have done that a couple of times and I didn't. Now I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> now I gotta fucking up my game. Actually, I, I, I fuck in my boss's bed every night. <laughs> I guess you do. Right? Beth's all like, ouch. We're all thinking the same thing. Ouch. <laughs> You'd want to scratch with sandpaper at that point. Yeah, well, I, I don't know about that. To relieve the itch. Uh, oh. Well, calamine function did it all right. You know, I had to put rubber gloves on and, you know, do do the damn thing and rub it all. It was a little bit weird rubbing it on my butthole. That, that didn't feel too good. It was really, just driven around. No, it was just like wet and smudgy and oh, you no. walked around feel like you jet yourself for like a good like hour and a half until it dried. And then when it dried, it really sucked. Oh my God. So bad. So when it dried, I, I realized the first time I tried to wipe with toilet paper, that didn't work out too well. Oh. So anytime you have to put the medication on after it dries, if you need to wipe it off, you either have to take a shower or get baby wipes. That was the only way that it was going to be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, shameless plug time. You can put out your social medias. Whatever you guys want to push, this is your time to just. So we have a new single dropping May 18th. It's called Crave. Um, we're putting out a music video for it. You can find us at facebook.com slash fate destroyed, Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram, basically anywhere you listen to music, Deezer, you can find us there. Um, full length album is going to be coming out and uh, probably in August. Um, so definitely look out for that and catch us at Blue Ridge Rock Festival if it happens, which I'm thinking it's going to happen. So, uh, yeah, catch us there. What about you, Nate? Yeah, all that. And uh, 423 Rock Fest in July in yes. Tennessee, Bristol, right. Tennessee. Again, fingers crossed. <laughs> all right. We appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you for having us. It was a really good time. I'm sorry yeah, that I'm happened with the memory card from uh, from the Metal in the Mountains. That sucks. Yeah. I can't believe it's been a year since we met you guys. I know. I know. Like almost exactly, actually. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't remember what day. Right. It was. We was close to that. Yeah. Right. I got it. But definitely. Thank, thank you guys very, very much for your time. Thank you guys. You guys have a great night. Keep kicking ass. 
You too. Bye. Like, I and can't figure this out. Should we just wait? <laughs> We're just going to wait. Just keep waiting. <laughs> I don't know how to close this, so I'm going to wait till you do. <laughs> I know. I'm like, we'll get there. We're just going to keep waving. <laughs> there we go. All, All right. right. So we have a special little segment. We do. We do. Do, do you we have do. the list? Do I need the list? No, I can, I can get the list. Okay. I can get the list. So. Um, as you guys know, we are, we're not going yet, so don't leave. Uh, I need everybody in here to push the heart button, though, before you do anything else. Um, but it is almost our one-year anniversary of Hellfire Radio. Um, we're almost, we're almost there. Um, so we are doing some employee awards tonight. We are. We are, we are. So, and of course, I'm going to tell, we'll tell little stories about each one of these. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go. Is everybody in here that needs to be in here? Hellfire family? Probably, or you all probably in? not. But if they're not in there, they can go back and watch it okay. or whatever. So we we have five awards that we're giving out. And it's Rookie of the Year, which is one. Rookie of the Year. Content Creator of the Year. Content Creator of the Year. Comeback Kid Award. Comeback Kid Award. The Show of the Year. Show of the Year. And Employee of the Year. And Employee of the Year. We so rookie. we're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna start with rookie. Start so, from the bottom. Now we hit rookie. Is actually kind of a funny story. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we found her being locked in a uh, hotel, hotel room in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. We got snowed in during a blizzard trying to come back from Shockfest Horror Factory's uh, film festival. As I'm as I'm sitting there, I'm bored, and. We knew of the band, but and we knew her kind of, because we have similar friends and stuff like that. And so I watch her live feed, and I'm like, this girl is badass. I'm like, she was engaging. She was fun. Got her on the phone. The poor girl's about tears, because she's a fan of ours. And it, it was a nice conversation, but she came in. She's done a good job for us ever since. And so rookie of the year, it goes to Lexi Swarm. Lexi. She, Lexi Lexi's top picks of the week. Yeah, is so the show. Lexi Swarm, congratulations, girl. You are rookie of the year. Yay. Hearts for claps. Yay. So our next one. I'm not really going to go into this because whatever. So content creator is the one who posts who creates content as in like post memes, whatever, concerts, whatever they post to get interaction and engagement to the page. Yes. Well, this year's content creator of the year is me. Yes. <laughs> so, this was a, not biased, by the way. This was no, number one. Right? It wasn't. Uh, this was a uh, so, content. And actually, the one that came in very close by me was Stephanie Lee. Yes. So, but I, I got content creator of the year. Hearts for claps. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay. Uh, so, Comeback Kid Award is someone who kind of maybe started off slow or came in or and wasn't really doing a lot or shy. Not really a bad thing, but they kind of broke out of their shell. And now she's a monster. She is. <laughs> But we love her very much. So, Comeback Kid Award goes to Miss Dana Ward. The Gonzo Radio Show. So, congrats, Dana, on that. She is the Comeback Kid of the Year Award. Yay! She actually has, has broken a lot of things. She... <laughs> that sounds awful. Oh, God, that does. She's broken <laughs> all of it! She has broken a lot of things. That's a girl you don't want to fuck with. I'm going to tell you that way because uh, she will let you know real quick, fast, and hurry if you have angered her. Yeah. Um, but no, we, we met her at Scares They Care, and she has done a fantastic job. And she fought me for a long time about going live. Yeah, she did. She did not want to go live. And now? And now she's fucking addicted. Like three times a week. <laughs> so she said, do you want me to go live, huh? Yeah, so congratulations, Dana. We, we love you very much. So the next, the fourth award is Show of the Year. This was a statistical yeah. thing. We took all the videos that everybody did, every each um, DJ did on yes. Hellfire, 
and we added up all the numbers from up the end of each show Correct. all together, and whoever had the most is show of the year. So, yeah. so this year, show of the year goes to the Mocha Metal Show. Mocha Metal Chris Show, Gage. which so. doesn't go without saying, uh, the Gonzo Radio Show was like 50 behind him. Yeah, so Dana so. actually almost won show of the year. She was literally 50 views behind mocha metal but mocha metal uh show chris edge who's also our executive director over a and r he is one the show of the year now hey. this is the big award this is the real big, big award album. yeah big well, yes. so this individual has been with us for quite a long time and she started oh, from I'm the bottom now she here yeah, she started out from the very fucking bottom. Actually, she started out as an HR girl, really. Yeah. And now she is the president of the whole fucking company. And honestly, this station would not be nowhere near what it is without her being on daily phone calls and me blowing her up every fucking morning, <laughs> deciding what we're going to do, where we're going to move things, promotions, hiring new people going after new shows, literally everything, but Employee of the Year goes to Stephanie Lee. Yay! Congratulations. We love you very much, and you fucking earned it, even though she thinks she doesn't. She thinks she's horrible. She hates to go lie, and she has, she's broken so many, like, fears of hers, because she was terrified of going It's because I forced her to. And if I wasn't here, she wouldn't do she's it. She's kicking ass. She's part of the Craft Beer Quarter show. She does Craft Beer Quarter with us. You know, we have a fucking blast doing that. Uh, she's our right hand woman. Woman. She's a wing woman. So we we could not. She do, said, "Shut the fuck up! No way." We could not do hell. We <laughs> yes, could not do Hellfire Radio without Stephanie. She is an extremely pivotal part. I mean, everybody has a pivotal part, but she really helped us build this radio station from the ground up. So thank you. And thank you all for being here for the last year. Absolutely. It's Here's been, to year two. Yep. Going into year two. Actually, which also says tomorrow is the kickoff of the gauntlet. Two. The gauntlet two starts tomorrow. I'm making a video tonight of all the bands. Uh, and tagging them. Yep. So be round one, that. match one tomorrow. Tomato, tomato. Yep. And that's all we got. That's it. Is that all yeah, that's it. All right. Well, that's it. we love you guys, and we'll see you guys Monday. Yep, Monday. Show theater. Yep. Ugh, I just burped. Excuse me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Maybe.